Here we have the new Swift Command control panel. Turn it on, press the Swift button, and we have the main menu. To turn the pump on, press the button, and turn it off, press the button. Same for the awning light. Then we have the lighting. You can turn the rear section on and off, front section on and off. You can also dim the lights and then back to main menu. Then we have the power which gives us the status of the leisure battery, status of the solar and if connected to the front vehicle status of the vehicle battery. On mains we have the AC current being drawn and we can also set the AC current limit. So, back to main menu. All right. Then we have the heating. You can control the Truma heating from this panel here. So we have the energy, one kilowatt, two kilowatts, just gas, gas and one kilowatt, gas and two kilowatts. Then we can turn the water on and off. It's eco, hot, and off. Then we have the air temperature, which we can change here. And you'll notice it will change there as we change it. It will change on that panel. So we can control the heating via the main control panel. Then we have the settings. That's for the time, date and day. Screen brightness, screen timeout. Also, you can pair the Bluetooth, delete or turn the key beep off. Then we have the radio. We have the mode. FM, DAB, auxiliary or off. And that's a, obviously the bass, treble and middle and the volume. Back to the main menu and that's the new Swift command.